Hey developers, today we're going to look at five boilerplate projects for Vue.js. These projects cover everything from PWAs to just really great documentation, best practices, MongoDB, GraphQL. So we're going to look at these different kind of templates for you to start with and uh, we're going to see what is out there. Now, boilerplates are kind of different than using Vue CLI 3 or Vue CLI 2. You might be uh, known, you might know about that, or using something like, like Nuxt. You can use Vue CLI 3 to create new projects, but these boilerplates are very specific in what they offer. So they're very opinionated. And I think it's good to know these are out there. Next time you start a new project, you might want to just pick up one of these templates, these boilerplate projects, and start with them first instead of starting with something like Vue.js 3.0 or and, and creating everything that uh, way. First, I did get this idea. There's this awesome article, Five Austin Boilerplate Templates for Vue.js by Anthony Gore. I'll leave a link in the description. So the first one I want to talk about is Vue Enterprise Boilerplate. I actually interviewed the person that created this, Chris Fritz. He's also um, another person on a podcast I'm with, Views on Vue. And so this boilerplate is really cool. So it has really great documentation, has really great testing. So if you're just trying to get into Vue.js, look at this project and look at how he does it. So for example, you can look at the documentation. He goes over like setup and development. Uh, this actually is a pretty cool project. He created a bunch of new generators. So you can create your new components, views, layouts, modules. He included this all in it from the start. Uh, he also has some really good information about the architecture. So he has continuous integration support in there. You can kind of see how he structured all the layout and all the different directories. I believe he uses Cypress too for his testing. So he has testing and mock APIs. Use Jest uh, and a unit to, yeah, Cypress with with end-to-end uh, -end tests. So he goes over the core concepts. He actually gives tons of documentation of why, why you should use this, how you create mock APIs. He talks about state management. So you got Vuex in there. I'm sure he has linting and formatting writing and layouts, and he just really goes in a lot of detail of like, this is the best practices, this is why you should use it. And so I would highly recommend if you're starting a new Vue.js project, yeah, look at Vue CLI 3, but maybe just download this project and see why Chris did certain things in it. And he has it very well documented on why uh, why he chose certain things over others. And it's one awesome in there too. So I would highly recommend that Chris Fritz. And also if you're interested in just Chris Fritz, uh, click on, I'll leave a little button here so you can go ahead and look at the interview I did with Chris. He does a lot of stuff in the Vue.js world. He's a core contributor contributor to Vue.js and all around nice guy too. So uh, next up I want to talk about the Vue Express Mongo Boilerplate. So a lot of times you probably hear about um, the mean stack that's Mongo Express Angular Node you probably heard of the MERN stack, which is Mongo Express React node. So now MV, MEVN is becoming a thing, and that's Mongo Express Vue.js in node, as you can see here. And so he, this this boilerplate has everything. It's it's pretty well documented. Um, it's pretty well maintained too. He has he's uh, been keeping up with the issues and and answering people's questions. It uh, has definitely tons of server-side features. You can see your Node.js has an Express server built in. Using GraphQL, which is, is really popular right now. On the client side, he's Vue.js, Vuex, Axios, Vue Router, Vuesocket, Webpacket 2, um, passwordless mode. So this is a great one if you want to do authentication. He has a really great authentication example. So I went ahead, if you go to the test site, you can sign up. He shows authentication using Facebook, Google Plus, Git, uh, GitHub, or you can create a new account. And I believe he might be using, <coughs> I'm not sure which server side service he's using for authentication. But you can see here, it's really well done. You can download this, just figure out how he did it, how he put it all together. Yes, yeah, so he has API keys for social sign up. He might have just rolled his own for all this and then used Express for the authentication part. So really well done project. It's maintained, has tons of information in it. So if you're looking to do authentication in Vue.js, I would highly recommend to download this boilerplate. Just take a look at how he's doing it. Try to get it up and running yourself and, and go from there. 
You can see here, this is the site. Another great starter pack, a boilerplate project is View Starter. Uh, uses PWA, which is Progressive Web App. If you don't know what that is, that's uh, a new way of, of well, it's not really new, but it's a different sort of way to create your web application. So it has offline support. It, uh, it works really well on mobile, and uh, it has quite a few other features with this Progressive Web App. So you can see here he's using Anime.js for animations. He's using Storybook. He's using Vuex. Uh, documentation isn't quite as good as some of the other ones, but it's still pretty good. Um, he even talks about why you should use this over Nux.js. So it's very opinionated, like all these boilerplate templates. They're very opinionated, aiming to educate and empower users to configure their own frameworks to their needs. Um, and you know it's inspired by React Boilerplate and others. So this one, uh, I played around with this a little bit. Awesome app, uh, awesome boilerplate. So check it out if you're interested in progressive web apps and everything you can do with that. And here's the website. Here's the demo website he created, just showing it. So if we we could, I probably could run this through Lantern and see uh, how well it's doing, but I won't do that right now because there's. So you can see progressive web apps. You get service workers. So Lighthouse score as high as 90 plus. So Lighthouse is a plugin you can use on, on your Chrome and probably other browsers. You can check to see how well your progressive web app is and that helps you determine how, how much that is. So very cool. Uh, another one is View Expresso. So I know GraphQL, everybody's talking about it right now. A lot of people in the React world are talking about it. So I had to mention at least one. I, Actually, we talked a little bit about this before. This is using GraphQL too. It's a polystack, but this is probably a better uh, boilerplate for it. It's Vue Expresso. So as Vue.js Expresso and GraphQL boilerplate um, using Storybook UI, Vue Config. So another one you probably should check out. I don't really like it's using Jade though, but you know, to each his own. So very cool. So if you're looking, to, I don't, I don't know anything about GraphQL. I really need to jump into it, but everybody's talking about it, and you know we have this herd mentality for developers. I, I honestly believe this. A few years ago, everybody jumped on the React bandwagon, and now everybody's jumping on uh, the the uh, Phoenix bandwagon in the back end, and everybody's jumping on GraphQL. And so I, I would suspect that GraphQL is getting bigger and bigger. And I would say Vue.js is getting a lot more popular. A lot of people are talking about Vue.js, which is awesome. Another one I found is Boilerplate View Apollo, GraphQL, MongoDB, so and Vuetify, which I like, which is like that material design framework for Vue.js. So you can see here, this is built with Vue, Vuex, Vue Router, Vuetify, Vue Apollo, GraphQL. So once again, lots of technologies that you may want to learn and use. So check this out. And like I said, here's the article for it, um, for Anthony Gore, and he has a website too and a Facebook group. All right, so that's just a quick show of five pretty cool boilerplate templates that you can download off of GitHub for your next Vue.js project. And like I said, if you're interested in Vue.js, click on the in the description below. I have a free cheat sheet. Click on that. Uh, I'll, I'll send it to you uh, so you can get started with Vue.js. I think it's well worth it. And if you guys like this video, please click that subscribe button and click that little bell button I think YouTube said that you'll be notified more often if you click the bell button. I'm not sure nowadays. They keep changing things out. But at least try to subscribe. I'm trying to bring up my subscriber count, and I can at least, hopefully, you'll see the next time I least release videos. I do lots of videos on Vue.js, basic uh, advice for developers, JavaScript. I'm thinking about doing some more Angular 5 in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, everybody.